Still on 2023 elections, the EFCC has been told to immediately launch a probe on the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, for giving out 200 SUVs to APC leaders in KB State. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Huriwa, on Tuesday urged the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to probe the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakamal Lami San, who allegedly distributed 200 SUVs, exotic sport utility vehicles, to politicians in KB State to influence the May governorship primary of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the Northwest State. Huriwa, in a statement by its national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Omubiko, said it is illegal enough that Malami declared his ambition to succeed Governor Atiku Bagudu of KB State in May 2023 without resigning his position as a minister according to the Electoral Act. The group described as untenable and diversionary Malami's denial that it was his friends and associates who donated and distributed the vehicles, just as the Rice Group challenged the Federal Attorney General and Minister of Justice to publish the list of his friends that donated those cars as he reportedly claimed, and also furnished Nigerians with the receipts of purchases of the vehicle so Nigerians from all over the world can easily make an inquiry from the sellers if they are overseas. Huriwa said it is relying on the Freedom of Information Act to make the demand public. In a statement, after the photos of the lush vehicles went viral, Malami spokesman Usman Gwandu claimed it was friends and associates of Malami who donated and distributed vehicles to long-term workers in the Kadimia Foundation. However, Huriwa's Omubiko said the excuse of the Attorney General of the Federation through his aid is the same ambiguous and one-sided strategy that all politicians use during campaigns. They use phantom groups as an alleged shield to divert what is alleged to be ill-gotten money and fund campaign expenses as corroborated by Transparency International recently, which raise alarm that support groups use stolen funds to purchase exotic cars for party delegates and party forms and party po other politicians. It is very suspicious that the so-called chief law officer who has been in charge of the recovery of foreign loots, including those of Let Sani Abacha and James E. Bori is involved in this bogus donation of cars to party delega delegates, even if remotely through his affiliates, his affiliates and friends. He could have dissuaded those so-called friends not to proceed with this illegality, given his frontline role as the premier cabinet-level officer in the administration of President Muhammad Buhari that lay claims to fighting corruption. The FCC must probe Malami and his so-called friends, whose names are not mentioned by the AGF's spokesman. Who are they? What is their pedigree to afford 200 lush SUVs? This one is mind-boggling. 200 lush SUVs just to be a governor of a state. He declared his interest that he wants to be a governor and they have to give out 200 SUVs to party faithfuls, to associates in KB State. How rich is KB State? Who are these friends, unknown friends? Nigeria is really like a joke. 
during the time of politics, you begin to hear support group, friends, well wishers, families. No presidential candidate in Nigeria is able to afford a nomination form. None of them. Out of the lot that came out, okay, maybe 15% of them or 20 had the courage to directly come out and buy the nomination form themselves. Others will go behind the unknown persons and they say their friends are buying the nomination form for them. It's, it's become a joke. Even those that we know that could comfortably afford these forms, they never bring out their money. They never come direct and buy it. They will say somebody had bought it for them. And now friends are donating 200 vehicles to people. Not cheap vehicles, 200 of them. What is, uh, how will they get, <laughs> I, I can't just understand this. Even Malami himself, that if he bought it with his own money and you buy 200 vehicles to give to people, how is he get, going to get the money back? It's just to go and clear the treasury of KB State. And being a senior advocate of Nigeria, knowing the legal implications, he didn't take any precaution at all and allow his friends, even if they are friends, to go and make this kind of purchase. This is against all things that we know. This is against all the rules of practicing politics. He has not even resigned. He has already jumped out to declare that he is running for the governorship. Now, let's see what it is, uh, the Huriwaga said. The anti-corruption agency, they said, must quit its keeping cool while ministers like Malami allegedly frittered millions buying cars for delegates, buying nomination forms. So we aren't indicating the Minister of Justice, but we are of the humble opinion that there have to be full disclosures. On the donors if any so they are not indicting him actually it's also important to state that the efcc is complicit in corruption by refusing to probe the minister of state for education a mekan wajuba minister of labor and employment chris ngige minister of transportation chibuka amechi and other serving ministers governors and appointees who have purchased the exorbitant 100 million Naira nomination and express of expression of interest forms by the APC. So the, a, a, the EFCC has got their hands full. There's a lot of more members that needs to be investigated. Anyway, Huriwa has issued this. The Human Rights, the Huriwa Association organization is always... Um, on his toes, following up these politicians and their antics. But the question is, the ones that have taken to court, what has been the outcome? Have the court been able to really, really try the cases and find anyone guilty? We haven't seen any of those. That's all we can take on this report. Malami has got to answer the question. That's what they are saying now. Thank you for coming by. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell. See you in our next video.